on January 25th, Infinity Kingdom is having their biggest event yet. And you already know that with big events comes big war. Ladies and gentlemen, Infinity Kingdom is coming to the region of Japan and they're hosting the Revival of Cities event to celebrate the occasion. I'm going to be participating in this event. There's going to be tons of great rewards and I'm going to be playing alongside some really awesome content creators. Hey, hey, I'm speaking to you. No, no, not you. You're watching the video. Where am I? Why am I on Omniarch's channel? All right, I remember now. For the brand new Infinity Kingdom event in server 136. I'm gonna play with Omni in this journey and we will cover this event every single week. If you haven't already, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I'll make sure to deliver you a disgusting pineapple pizza. You don't want that, correct? All right, back to the video. Thank you so much, Wick Gaming, for that shout out. I do appreciate it. Now, really quick, for those of you who maybe only watch my channel for Rise of Kingdoms and you've never tried Infinity Kingdom before, first of all, this is a great time to start because you can play with me in server 136 and you can learn the ropes of the game. But Infinity Kingdom is an SLG style game. It's a simulation game where you build up your city, you build up your army, and you go to war with other players. There's also tons of events. There's a massive campaign here called the Well of time you can fight through this well of time and it's going to give you tons of great rewards you can level up your research and this is going to give you a ton of power and more resources for your city and for training new troops there's the mysterium which is a really cool multi-floor dungeon that you can go through and get tons of really nice fragments to summon some extra powerful immortals and these are going to be the historical figures that lead your armies into battle and deal massive damage to the enemy all alongside some really awesome looking dragons which is why i've been playing infinity kingdom for a really long time now okay if this sounds interesting to you and you want to participate in the revival of cities event you can download infinity kingdom for free with the link in the description below you can also play infinity kingdom on your pc as well and in order to participate in this event with me and other content creators you must be in server 136. when you first download the game you may not have a character in that server automatically so if you want to make sure that you're in the correct server all you have to do is go in the top left corner you can tap on your player icon and you can tap on settings in the bottom right corner and then you can tap on character this is where it's going to show you all the characters that you have if you're new to the game you'll only have one my server is called contention of legends this is where i'm currently playing but you can see most servers are called norheim with a specific number and again in order to participate in the rival of cities event with me you must have a character in server 136 most likely this server is going to be called revival of cities so make sure you keep an eye out for that but to create a new character you just go down to the create a new character option you tap that and then you pick the correct server in this instance again it's 136. the first thing you want to do if you want to participate in this event in server 136 is look for my alliance called infinity warriors i'm going to be doing a joint alliance with wick gaming and clash bashing and other content creators that are going to be participating in this event so make sure you look for that alliance name or some subset of that alliance there will probably be multiple run by more than one of us and being as active as possible at the beginning of the event is going to help us later when we start to compete for stage one and stage two 
of this event now the revival of cities event is a great time to start playing infinity kingdom because there's going to be a ton of really great rewards that you can earn by coming in different places or even just by participating and these rewards are broken down for stage one and for stage two which we're going to be talking about now so this entire event as the name suggests revolves around capturing and building the cities that are spread across the map obviously what you're looking at here is the current map of my current server because the event server isn't live at the time of recording this but each of these dots on the map is a city that you can take with your alliance and with your faction the first stage of this event is going to revolve around taking all of the level six cities on the map and this is definitely a team thing you have to do this with other players you cannot do this all on your own which is why you want to join our Alliance infinity warriors. There's also probably going to be a discord pinned in the comment section below once that's set up. So that way all of us can communicate all the time, even if we're not online after all the level six cities are taken stage two is going to be taking all the level nine cities. And then we'll probably fight for the world heart. But what you're looking at on the screen is a level six city. Now, if you're a new player, I'm going to explain to you guys how you can capture these cities for the different stages in this event the first step is going to be relocating close to the city so that way we can start to attack the outer walls and the inner garrisons if you take a look at the city you can see we can see that the city is sort of constructed on a grid okay and every single piece of this grid that is on the outside is called the outer wall and they have a specific durability and the way that you defeat that outer wall is simply by attacking it with your alliance i'm going to show some footage on the screen now of what it looks like when we're actually taking a city in infinity kingdom even if you're seeing the word defeat come up when you're attacking a city just keep going uh that is actually helping reduce the wall durability even if you're quote unquote losing the battle after the outer walls are defeated we then have to capture the inner garrisons again this entire thing is done as a team and if you participate in these city attacks you're going to gain points for destroying the wall and defeating the garrison troops and these points are going to be used to determine your ranking for what the rewards are that you're going to be getting at the end of the, the event just as a quick tip for those of you who are new players this is going to be sort of the strategy for teleporting around one of these cities okay you can see here in the green this is a level six city and what we want is for layer one to be the strongest players in the alliance or in the faction that we are in to take this city okay so we want the strongest players close to the city so that way they have the shortest amount of march distance to hit the outer walls and the inner garrisons and then the layer two is going to be everybody else okay so obviously the closer the, the the stronger the player the closer you want them to be to that city for the attack city attacks do require a decent amount of ap so make sure that while you're fighting gnomes and leveling up your account at the beginning of the server you save some ap especially in item form to use when we do plan these city attacks because it's going to be important if you don't have ap you can't participate in the city attack make sure that when we are attacking you're only using your strongest troop march as you can see here mine is this water march here this is a good place to start if you're new a new player focusing on all water or maybe on all earth and finally one last bit about teleporting uh we do want to teleport neatly in a grid to fit the most amount of players possible and if you do decide to relocate right next to the city you'll see this warning on your screen saying that if you move to an area in yellow you cannot use a protection barrier which means your city can be attacked your your account can be attacked by other players and you can bet that there will be other players on this server who won't want us to take these cities so they will probably also teleport in to try to stop us and if you are teleported too close to the city in an area in yellow then there's nothing you can do you can't teleport away it's best to teleport somewhere in green like you can see here uh because that's going to be a place where you will be safe now the city capture will end when all of the inner garrisons are owned and captured by a single alliance once that is done and let's say it's ours right let's say our alliance captures a city the next step is to immediately start constructing that city the reason that you want to do this is because when you have a lot of players constructing a city it's going to increase its level you can see here that my alliance right now has this level 10 city and once it goes to level 11 it's actually going to gain everybody in the alliance 
more stone per hour it's also going to have a higher durability with more garrisons those garrisons are then going to be stronger and what this means is that it's going to be harder for other alliances and other players to come in and steal our city while we're offline because it's just going to be a stronger city they'll need more players they'll need more powerful marches and that is important the other reason that you want to join the construction for these cities is because this is another way that you're going to be able to get rewards in the revival of a city's event yes building and upgrading cities is a way to get points towards the rewards for this event so being as active as possible is important and this is good because even if you are a free-to-play player who doesn't who can't contribute that much from a war perspective you can still participate in the construction aspect of this event and still be extremely useful to the alliance so make sure that you fight in the city rallies if you can if not construct 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 it's very important and you'll get good rewards for doing so now at the end of the event I'm sure there's going to be a nice little fight for the world heart the world heart is the very center of the map if I zoom out here it's dead set in the forbidden zone of the map the world heart is the most difficult city to take and it's the most important whoever controls the world heart controls the server they are the king of this server and i'm sure at the end of this 60 day event there's going to be a big deal about who captures the world heart capturing this is a little bit different it happens in a particular event called the contention of relics it's a three-stage event okay the first stage involves slaying chaos beasts that will appear in the forbidden zone so you can gain energy cubes they look like this they're pretty big and scary stage two involves the five major relics surrounding the world heart to be open for contention players will fight over these relics and they will provide energy cubes per hour so owning these is crucial and then finally the last stage is when the world heart itself will open and this will give you a ton of energy cubes per hour if you are able to take it now I want to take a quicker look here at the rewards for server 136 revival of cities so stage one is again the level six cities first place gets 15,000 gems plus the superior speed up chests times 30 and 150 raffle tickets these raffle tickets are used in an event called Theo's roulette and this is where you're going to get some of the most powerful immortals in the entire game so these raffle tickets are very valuable they're very expensive if you don't win them so this is a great opportunity for players to get their hands on some just by participating in this event the construction rewards are the same except you get philosopher stones times 162. these philosopher stones are how you're going to summon a ton of immortals in the hall of immortals and 162 means you can do 18 full summons which is 180 summons here it's tons of value obviously as you go down in ranking the rewards will decrease but even for the top 100 you're still getting 1500 gems that's still really nice for all the different stages here so if you place top 100 for all four rankings in both stages that's 6,000 gems for free plus a bunch of other goodies the stage two rewards are the same as far as raffle tickets and gem value but there's also including some resource packages and some ancient spirits selection chests for attack and construction respectively so these are some insanely good rewards especially if you are a brand new player I mean these are worth thousands of dollars and I just love that infinity kingdom is continuing to grow continuing to expand to new regions around the world and if you haven't been playing infinity kingdom since I've been telling you guys to play infinity kingdom now is the time to try Try it for sure use the link in the description to download infinity kingdom for free or if you already play infinity kingdom make sure to create a brand new character in server 136 participate in the event join my infinity warriors alliance with other content creators like wick gaming and i think we can all have a ton of fun welcoming the new players from japan to infinity kingdom with that being said guys if you enjoyed the video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out there so other players can be informed of this new event for infinity kingdom subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload an infinity kingdom video don't forget to join the discord in the pinned comments so that way you can communicate with us when this event goes live and joining our alliance and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace